Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. Yes, YouTubers, mainly not us, do say that every change will enable a new meta of Sol. We have covered stuff in the past how people didn't like the quad tank meta that may be coming out with Moira on Mal, certainly with the Sombra stuff that came out recently. However, for some of the Brigitte enabled tournaments as some scrim footage revealed in videos, we can actually see that the prominent dive meta, at least in some areas, fails to be now that Brigitte is added into the game. Today, we'll actually reference some scrim footage with the new Hanson to look at what he can do now and ultimately what his job and role is on a team now. We'll also talk about the comps that teams are playing on the PTR with the new Hanzo Brigitte and all of that stuff too. So the footage that we'll be referencing came from Mangachu, a pro player from the NYXL's Academy Team XL2. He put up a bit of a montage of his ability on the new Hanzo, showing some really Pogchamp plays, but the issue is the video was deleted from Twitter shortly afterwards. Now I did manage to get my hands on it, but there is an issue of why. No doubt this was either his team or of the team that he was scrimming against asking him to take it down on Twitter. Maybe one of the teams wasn't happy that their private scrim footage was going live that people could see their strategies and stuff like that. So for that reason I'm not actually going to show the footage that Mangachu put on Twitter. I do want to talk about the team comps that were ran because it has a lot to do with why Mangachu was playing Hanzo in the first place not referencing whether it was his team or the enemy team that were running it and not actually telling you who the enemy team were. So both teams were running Brigitte and triple support. We discussed why in another video but ultimately Brigitte does a really good job at a hybrid role that allows her to be there to help the existing two support pair. I also guess that the pros don't believe that she provides enough healing and support to have her in a 2-2-2 comp. I mean that's what people are scared about with Brigitte right? That when she can't do any healing when she's hitting stuff she's not doing much at all. In any case we saw some iterations in the clips of the free supports and free tanks. Two tanks, one DPS and free supports. That kind of stuff. Tanks being Zarya, Reinhardt predominantly. The DPS that we saw in these clips were Farrah, Widow and Junkrat and of course Hanzo. Well why Hanzo with this lineup? Well, there is a theme between the four heroes that I mentioned. They all fight from long range, and tanks aren't very good at dealing with that. And other than the two new abilities that Hanzo gained, Hanzo also got an increase in his primary projectile fire from 85 to 100. His stun bow does 80 damage a shot, not including a headshot too. It basically means that Hanzo can free fire at the burly tanks, but also take out the enemy's soul DPS too, especially if they're at distance. Farrah in the air, Junkrat or Widow in the backline, or an enemy Hanzo, your Hanzo can deal pretty well with them. And Hanzo has a bit more utility than Widow or Junkrat, especially with the Sonar Arrow, and he can fight at close range too. But it is mostly about chunking damage into the tanks and the supports, building up his ultimate quickly and trying to get a pick. The scary thing about getting a pick is how long it takes to get it. Listen to this from Jane's stream yesterday. We had a bunch of GMs and top 500s pugging together, and Guru was showing us some new scrim strats to do with Brigida. And it, the numbers that that man was putting out in pugs were absolutely crazy. It was crazy. The opening fight of Koth, which took place on Sanctum, took 1 minute and 43 seconds to resolve. And by 1 minute and 43 seconds, I mean that one team stepped off the point and the other capped. They just kind of got forced back. Like, the Lucio Moira Brigida composition, nothing fucking dies. It's absurd. Now, I wanted to include this because it's legitimate information. This isn't a person trying to make a clickbaity thumbnail title or something. This is an actual analyst in the middle of his stream breaking down what other GMs have in their games. He has zero reason to overemphasize and just flat out lie about this. I also don't want to be like Brigitte is going to ruin the game either. That's not my motive with this video. Honestly, I like a change of meta and I like that this has been changed up. But what's interesting for me is that the new Hanzo legitimately has a spot on the team. He's not just some sort of flair hero. Those long ranged high DPS heroes like Farrah, Junkrat, Widow and Hanzo are going to shape a future meta with the help of Mercy. Mercy is usually one of the free supports in this triple heal or trip heal lineup as I like to call it and she's almost always glued onto the DPS, the Widow, the Pharmacy combo and especially Hanzo. Hanzo when damage boosted can do 624 units of damage when he hits all of his shots with his storm bow, none of those being headshots. He actually does a lot of damage and it's nice to see him having more of a legitimate role within the game. More so than the old Hanzo ever did. If you're a Hanzo player, hooray! You may not be seen as a troll pick anymore and less inconsistent. But ultimately, he could be a golden pick in these triple support situations. Whether the triple support comp is going to be universal does remain to be seen. I don't necessarily think so, but I for one welcome our triple support overlords. But it may be completely different in our own ranked games. You know how it can be. Take all this with a pinch of salt but Hanzo does have a new role within the game thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video take care and we'll see you next time <laughs>